On this part, you'll learn how to design the user's page like a real professional, which is by copy pasting code from the internet. We are going to start by first creating the authentication controller, then we are going to create an action, and then after we create the action, we are going to create the actual view. So for that, let's go to Visual Studio. In here, we have said that the user's view will be rendered by the authentication controller, and we did define it here in the layout. And then if you scroll down here to the users, we have said that the ASP controller is going to be authentication controller, and the ASP action is going to be the user's action. So let us just go to the solution explorer, and then in here, I'll just right click, add a new controller. This is going to be an MVC controller empty. And the name is going to be authentication controller. Then I'll click add. We have said that by default, when you create a new controller, the action index is added, but we said that for users, we want to use the users action. Now let's go to the solution explorer. And then here on the views, I'm going to create a new folder, add. This is going to have the same name as the controller. So authentication. And then I'll just right click. Add. I'm going to add now a view. This is going to be an empty razor view. And the name is going to be users and then click the add button. And here on our view or in the final view, we are going to have a card and then inside the card, you have this button, you click this button and here you can see that you have a table. Now we said that we're going to code like real professionals. So I'll just go to the official bootstrap site. So get bootstrap.com. And now let us go to docs and let us search for a card. In our card, you can see that we have just a footer. We have a card body. And if we want, we can copy a card header, but then we can just remove it. So we have the exact design as in here. In the cards, I'm in the card section. I'm just going to search for footer. And then I'm going to press enter or you can just scroll down until you find the right card component. Just scroll down in here. This one has a header, but it doesn't have a footer. This one does have both headers and footers. So what I'll do in here is that I'll just copy this code down here, and then I'll just go to Visual Studio. And then here I'm going to first set the view data title. So add and then view data title is equal to and then all users. And then down here, I'm going to create a div and inside this div, I'm going to have the class container. And then in here, I'm going to add another div. And this div now is going to have multiple classes. The first one being a row. And then another div, which is going to have the class column. So it takes like the whole screen. And then now inside here, I'm going to paste the code that I copied from the bootstrap page. I'm just going to paste the code. And then from here, I'm going to remove the card header because I want to have just the card body and also the card footer. And I'm going to remove the text center. So I have all the text on the left. And then inside the body, I'm going to have the card title, which is going to be the user email address. Let's say user at email.com. And then in the card text, we are going to have this text. For example, this user has created this many links and has a total of how many clicks? Just going to paste it in here. Just let's say one and then two. And then I'm going to remove this button. And then here on the card folder, I'm going to remove the text body secondary. I'm going to remove this text. And here I'm just going to add a small tag. The class is going to be text muted. 
and the text is going to be let's say um one links and let's say two clicks if you want you can add in here like this just to be like grammarly correct I'll just like link or links and click or clicks now after the p tag we are going to use another bootstrap component now inside this div we are going to use another bootstrap component which we are going to use to show and hide the content so for that now in here i'm just going to search for collabs just click in here and just scroll down and here you have two examples and you can see that in here we have two buttons so link with ref and button with data bs target attribute just going to copy all this section go back to visual studio and here i'll just paste it in here and then i'm just going to remove this button and i'm going to change the text value to be let's say show details now inside this div or inside this div that has a class card and a card body we are going to display a table which has all the user links so let us go to bootstrap one more time and on here let us search for table and then in here from all the table examples that you have you can select for example the stripped rows you can just copy just go back to visual studio i'll just paste it in here and then in here we are going to have the t head and also the t body on the t head we are going to have a t row and inside here we're going to have th and then here we are going to have the original link the short link and then the number of clicks and then in the t body we are going to have a table row and the table row is going to have just td and the value is going to be let's say https original.com then we have just short and the number of clicks let us say is three now let us save the changes and what i'll do is that i'll just copy this div column i'm going to add it two more times now let us save the changes and run the app now in here i'll just go to the users and you can see that i have all the cards and i can click all these buttons but of course they are open all at the same time because i have just a single id for all of them so let us fix two problems in here we are going to first fix that a single card should be like the whole row and also whenever you click one button then it should open just that card so in here let us start with the first problem to resolve the first problem here on the class row we are going to add that i want the row to get all the columns so and that row columns md1 then g4 here on the call here on the show details i'm just going to type in here href collapse example one and then collapse example one and then down here collapse example one then here we're going to have collapse example two two and then down here two as well and then we're going to have three three and three and when we render the actual data in here we're going to automatically set so collapse example then the user id value so let us save the changes and then i'll just 
alt reload in here and then go to the browser you can see now in here that the first error is fixed so let's just click the show details only the first one is open and if you click the second one then the second one is open